<laughs> what is up you guys this is Mick with Fresh on the Flea and welcome back to a new episode got a great solid video for you guys because it is going back to basic thrifting coming into a spot searching and coming up this has been a while since a new video has dropped so I am super glad to be back gotta pick up the pace and a lot of people always ask me do I sell my stuff and yes I do the link is down below check out the Depop I want to say to all the customers out there thank you for ordering your items have been shipped and again, you're making the process go around. And onto that, if you guys are loving the videos and you do want me to make more, please do hit that like button as well as that, please do hit that subscribe button as well as that hit that bell button if you wanna see when I upload immediately. Like I said, don't miss the fun. You know what this means? Let's go. So you guys already know, I'm in here uh, doing what I'm doing. Searching through, okay, the shoes. Just see what they got, you know. Don't give up too much over here. Look at these. Never know. Kobe. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? GG. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Where are all the hats, man? There's nothing here. Nothing. Who even knows about these screamer beanies? Only screamers wear these. Pulling out grails here, man. Pulling out grails. Let's start this off right in the tease. This just might be a cop, seriously. <laughs> little Tommy on the left side over here for two bucks, a little newer. It's pretty nice, a little rugby action for you. That's what you're into? Kinda into it. This one is sick. Check it out, it's the dope collab with Howlin' Rays. If you guys been there, go check it out, Chinatown. Go wait in line for two and a half hours, it's the best. Right there, right on the back. North Broadway, number 128, LA. Go bother some people. Today is crazy because all the shirts are like compacted together so you really gotta push. So I just removed some shirts and I put it over there. A Little bit of leeway now. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, look at that. The thrift gods give me a little break here. Burberry Brit, look at that embroidery. A little taxing, but hey, I'm not gonna pass this up. Look at the Nova check. Looks clean too. Awesome. Very awesome. John Cena! Check this out, check this out. This is uh, exclusive to this thrift store. They got watermelons on lock over here. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. It's finally something, look at this. Polo sport size medium. You know what's crazy? I found this piece, the same exact piece before. Round two scooped it up for me. That's crazy. Look at that, the half zip all the way down. That is such a sick piece. A little oversized. It looks pretty clean, too. Don't mind picking up. Hmm. Look what I found hiding over here. Look at this. He's bigger. Oh, it's a little newer. Jeez, taxing though. Oh, I see a little back spot up here. What the heck is this? Look at the, see, what did they put this tag? Oh, that's not for here. It's crazy, I like the material here though. An instant classic. Oh, 
so I found all I can find here. On to the next spot. Let's go. Back here at the spot. And check it out. We've got an Oakley belt. Four bucks, not bad. And then I had to come over in the VHS section. Finally, they have one. Check it out. The gods must be crazy. This is a classic movie with like a Coca-Cola bottle. Coca-Cola bottle. The 1984 classic right here. Look at that, Rudy. I have the hat. And they got Doug. Yes. Slam dunk Doug. We gotta see the Gucci 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 Poochie right here. No way. No way. Check it out, check it out. PS1 controller. Analog sticks feel good. Buttons feel good. They want five bucks. You guys already know if you see this input right here. It's for the PS1. I still got mine too. Screen still works everything. So maybe. So I did find two shirts. Let's check them out. I found the uh, Heat Beaker. Athletics uh, double XL, but it's too big and it's a little roach. You can see all the uh, pitting. It's so pitted. But then I found this one right here. It's very plain at first. It's pulls pretty yummy stuff, right? And then I look down here and look at it. It's got a little spell out. That is awesome. Definite pickup. I thought it was reversible at first, but it's not. It's pretty cool. Let's do it. I was looking in the CDs, Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles, I might pick it up, but there's some scratches on the CD, I'll check it out. Guys know what's up, taking off, let's go. So let's definitely get in the recap straight off you guys. So in the t-shirts I did pick up, yes, the Howlin' Rays uh, X Dope Tee. So this was pretty crazy right here. If you guys been to Howlin' Rays, please do hit it up. It is so choice, like I said before. The restaurant was actually featured in one of my videos, as well as the round two visit that I picked up like $700 cash. So if you guys seen that video, you guys know about Howlin' Rays. Just a dank spot overall. Uh, I did get to sit inside, and that was the most amazing experience, like I do have to say. Right in the back to say Howlin'. Does have the chickens it does have the address right on the bottom like i said the 727 north broadway uh, los angeles do go check it out like i always said i did pick it up for three bucks and it was just an amazing piece because i love the place super dank now to that i did pick up as i gotta do a little uh, angle here because the lighting but check this one out it is a star wars episode one jedi power battles i love the fact the little lightsaber battles does have the droid battles was well that just like episode one was just awesome they got darth maul they got obi-wan kenobi they got qui-gon jinn I'm gonna say deflect, destroy, um, and defeat. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. Right in the front, you gotta see Ewan McGregor right there as well as Samuel L. Jackson, but they messed up on his lightsaber. It's supposed to be purple, you guys. It's supposed to be purple. Again, you guys know that this came out for the PlayStation. You guys see PlayStation, right? You think about going back to the PS1, all the way to the PS4 now, look how much time has came in, look how many more gamers have came in. Just a crazy, crazy thing. And as well as that being a Star Wars game, it's just an awesome plus. I did pick it up for $1.99 and, um, the fact is, I thought the scratches on there were going to impede the gameplay, but it did not, and I'm so happy for it. It's very fun, again, <laughs> a little archaic compared to the games that we have now, but hey, that is just something that goes back to a certain time of the childhood. Again, gotta pick up the PS1 games. So with these two pieces, they were actually bought in separate locations, but hey, coming up on some Polo Sport Yummy stuff is not to laugh at. So I'll get a little bit of history about Polo Sport is that it was introduced in 1992. Now you think about 1992 pieces, these are not 1992 pieces, but you think about that. The whole line that, that came about from Polo Sport is crazy. And then the 10 other lines that came out of Ralph, this is just an awesome and monumental thing. So let's just get into pieces. Check this one out. So the first piece right here, again, $2.49. I did pick up the Polo Sport Ralph Lauren. Now look at the tag right there. And I immediately saw this, I thought, dang, it's just a short sleeve shirt. 
and then I got a little bit farther down and then boom a spell out did appear beautiful piece like I always say I do have these shorts that go with this and also I do have the matching uh, anorak that actually goes with this piece so that's pretty crazy considering it was just sitting there it really was it was sitting there in the racks and again all the shirts were all bunched up and you gotta really put work into it to go search and that's the thing is I love coming up on those spots because a lot of people give up midway they don't go all the way through and guess what I came up what kind of strength you got so I did pick up the bomber style half zip green colorway and I did pick this one up before uh, and round two did scoop it up. What it has go for is it's got that style, like the bomber jacket style, like I said. It does have the Polo Sport tag right there. And then um, on the left sleeve, it does have the Polo Sport embroidered spell out, as well as the cuff sleeves, and that's always good. I love cuff sleeves. And the fact that they're not stretched out, also the bottom not stretched out, no stains, no rips, no tears, always good. Now this one was a little steep. I did pick up for $10.99, and I was happy to pick it up. The fact is I don't come up on Polo Sport that much as I used to, and hey, when you find them, Pick them up. Like I said, it's crazy because these are very oversized pieces. You think about this Tommy jeans sweater that I'm wearing right now, it's a medium also, and this is a medium. So you see how they fit. Crazy. But last but not least, it is gonna be the cop of the day. The reason why, um, the thing is, you think about the Polo Sport pieces, I don't come up on them often, so these could be the cop of the day. As well as the PS1 game. I love coming up PS1 games because I still play them and I still got my PS1. But this piece is crazy because again, it's Burberry. You know, that's just what it is. Look at the Nova check right there. Because I do find them every once in a while. I just don't find them as often as I used to. Because they were just hidden in the polo shirt places and polo shirt racks. People usually pass up on it because they don't know if it's real or not. But check this out. Just say Burberry Brit. And again, how you can tell, made in Turkey. You know, there's this whole thing about Burberry that a lot of people get, um, they get pushed back. Because you didn't think of a made in China, um, made in Turkey, uh, made in India. A lot of people wondering whatever happened to made in England, you know? Some people get snooty with it, I get it, I get it because of the quality and everything. But I mean, considering that the materials and stuff are quality, so I don't get offset by that. Now, you guys can see right there, the reason why I did pick it up and the reason why I know how to uh, legit check pretty much, you know, always look for the bottom tags, that's what it is. You gotta make sure that they actually feel right. And check it out, it does have the extra button, that's always good. I did pick this one up a little steep, like I said, $6.99 versus a lot of the good ones, they go for about um, $5.99, $4.99, something like that, because it's a collared shirt. So I was happy to pick it up, and again, super clean, like I said, what's going on here? Can't deny the Nova check. But yes, I want to thank you guys for watching, and like I said, it was just going back to the fundamentals of thrifting, because it was just going into a place, searching when I can, coming up, going to the next place, doing the same thing. Didn't really have a game plan here because of what time I went, but like you guys saw, came up nonetheless. You know I love that. And with that, I'm going to say what I always say. Hit that sub button, because more videos are coming. This is Mick from Fresh from the Flea.